Yeah. See, Derek Fisher, that's, a real that's nigga proof. now. That's the proof right there. <laughs> uh huh. And I bet you he put it out there like Derek Fisher just to slam Yeah. Slam yeah. Him. And look then what you would do. Right. And then he had to get on his wife's ass because you let this nigga walk past me and kiss on you. Right. You you spoke to me. Yeah. Derek Fisher wasn't wrong, nigga. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. That nigga Matt been a I fake. This I Becky see. with the goddamn blonde hair. Right I'm glad he took your nick, boy. I'm glad he took your woman. He showed you. He showed you, bitch ass nigga. That's what I was saying on the last live. A nigga need to show you, bitch ass nigga. You ain't shit, nigga. Pretty ass punk. Any nigga could take your motherfucking woman. You know why, boy? I just saw a video that you walk. You let this man see. You already. I already knew you was a punk. But now I really know you was a you a punk. Now you let Derek Fisher come up to your wife. And address her, kiss her, before she, he address you, you punk bitch. Then your bitch ass tried to go and pass him and address his wife before you address the man. Nigga, who raised you, nigga? I wish you would come up to any woman I'm with and goddamn try to address him for me. The fuck is wrong? Who taught you to do that? That nigga Derek Fisher did like that was like, oh, I knew what he thought in his head. Oh, this bitch ass nigga think he's somebody. It, right then, you didn't know you fucked up. <laughs> right then, when when Derek tried to give you that dap, and you curved that nigga like this, and you went and gave his wife a kiss. See, Derek, one of them country niggas. I bet you he one of them old school niggas. He probably was thinking in his head. Yeah, first of all, this nigga passed me and go to my wife, and then second of all, my wife tripping because she let this nigga do that and address me. Because a real woman should have said, "Hold up, nigga, you just walked past my motherfucking husband." Nigga, get your ass back up there and talk to this man. So all of y'all are some disrespectful little bitches, like I said. And so that nigga showed you, nigga. That nigga showed you you ain't shit, nigga. And he took your wife. Because, nigga, you had your wife out front. You walking up there trying to be cute in your little jean jacket, trying to look like Michael Jackson, bitch. (laughs) They dress you up good, nigga. You look like a little steward. Little. Remember that little mouse they used to have on the little, the little bike? That's what you look like. You coming up there trying to be a celebrity, huh? You want to be a celebrity real bad. Left your girl out there. Nigga, you supposed to lead that woman in there. And ain't never nigga supposed to come up and kiss your wife on the cheek, bitch. Before, especially before you get there. And I don't know what it is with you new shit with all this kissing and hugging on niggas' wives and shit. But if you see me with somebody, you better not be trying to kiss it and hugging. Because my left hand go to itching. I don't know what these niggas do. Fuck wrong with y'all. Y'all niggas wasn't raised right. Y'all trying to get a cop up a feel off a nigga girl. I don't be touching on no nigga woman. I, I stand my hand. Or hey, how you doing? That's wrong for you. You niggas trying to cop a feel and kiss at all the meetings. You bitch ass. You a zex and you bitch ass niggas. If you see me with a girl and you do that motherfucking shit, I'm at least going to stomp on your toe. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't crazy. They just a disrespect for some of bitches. That's what you gonna at least do. Yeah, I'm at least stop on your toe, cause I might wanna close the deal. You understand? I might wanna close the deal. I hope we can close it after your toe your toe so. <laughs> but you bitch ass nigga wasn't raised right. And Matt, I can tell you look like Stuart Little with that low haircut. You was an ugly light skinned motherfucker, but just cause you light skinned, you look like a little weasel. No wonder you trying to be tough. Cause back then, you look like a good little kid. You look like you could have went to private school, nigga. With that low ass haircut and that Billie Jean jacket. <laughs> you look like a private school ass nigga. <laughs> and now you got tattoos up your neck and your back. Boy, I would have jumped up and down on you like a trampoline and knocked all them tattoos off your little bitch ass. You Just because you wear outfits, nigga, and pretend like you tough, you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. Fuck wrong with you nigga Talking to a grown man like that Instead of you inviting me to your penis You should have been a man nigga And invited your wife to your uh, your penis Bitch ass nigga And learn how to lead and not follow You following a woman in on the red carpet And you thought you were going to keep her You bitch ass boy <laughs> You wasn't raised right nigga Fuck wrong with you I'm arguing with little ass boys <laughs> I'm sorry I'm arguing with little ass children you let a grown man walk up to your wife, grab her and kiss her on the mouth. Well, damn near. They probably were doing something then already. 
stupid little bitch. And then you gonna disrespect the man and slap. First of all, you should have said, "Hold up, nigga, how you doing, Derek Fisher?" You should have grabbed his motherfucking hand. And then you stand there and say, "You know my wife. Y'all don't need to hug and kiss every motherfucking time. Don't y'all play on the same fucking team?" Every time he see your wife, he got to hug her and kiss her and get all close up on her. Yeah, he kept smelling that perfume and she kept laying that neck on his ass. <laughs> she been ain't want your bitch ass. We saw that years ago. I saw that in that video. She know you ain't no man, bitch. Nigga. Yeah, I'm just talking, nigga. They said they wanted to just talk. You stay your bitch ass out of it. Everybody want to goddamn get into something. It was two niggas I'm talking to. The rest of you niggas, I'm not talking to you. And yeah, I'm just talking. These niggas said they wanted to joke. And I'm good as fuck at joking. Yeah, I'm real good at joking. Shit, you think I was going to get mad? I'm the one supposed to be the bug, the broke down, mad, sad nigga. And then when we get to joking back, now your bitch ass want a box, huh? Seem like you tight, puss ass nigga. <laughs> want to invite a nigga to your dick now. Them little jokes hurt your feelings, huh? <laughs> Thought you wanted to joke. You 40 year old rat, Stuart little looking motherfucker. And I ain't worried about your fight. You can trick the niggas on the internet all you want to. Cause that little shit you said, I hope you find me somewhere. Cause I'm gonna jump up and down on your ass like a trampoline, bitch. I don't know the fuck you talking about. I'm not no boxer. So y'all can save your triller invites. If that bitch ass nigga run up on me, I'm going to run across the street. And I hope like hell you don't follow me, boy. i <laughs> tell you that right motherfucking now. This ain't the internet, bitch. Well, this right here, we talking. But that shit you said on the internet, that let me know you ain't no man, boy. You let me know you ain't no man. You are not a man. Ain't no man I ever raised up around invite a man to their penis. That's not no joke. You a showboat, flashy bitch. That's what you are, fuck nigga. And any nigga that's on here vouching for your bitch ass after you done invited another man to your penis, what kind of nigga vouch for a nigga that invite another man to his penis? You niggas ain't shit. Not the niggas, not, not, not my niggas, not around my niggas you ain't. <laughs> not around my niggas he can't. Now all of a sudden you want to be a man. Bitch, I just watched your man demeanors. You not a man, boy. And just because you meet and try to fight, you still ain't a man, bitch. That's what your identity, you think that's what a man is? Run around being stupid, acting tough, boy? That what you think a man is? No, a man leads his wife into a goddamn building and keep niggas like that away from his wife because, nigga, you got to protect your house, bitch. But no, you too damn high to do that, bitch. I smoke too, motherfucker, but I don't get that goddamn high. You some zombie, motherfucker. You can't see that a nigga banging your goddamn wife right in your face. You not a good leader, bitch. And you uh, you thinking like you a hell of a nigga talking about me, bitch. You ain't no hell of a nigga. You see, Charlemagne done let the cat out the bag. Your daddy a murderer. Your brother a murderer. See, I've always had that stigma over my head. So I knew I had to act a little docile because I didn't want you bitch ass motherfuckers to bring up what somebody else did anytime I do something. Because I'm not a group. I'm my own person. See, I knew that. And y'all call it soft just because somebody's smart. <laughs> Oh, no, this nigga done dropped on me while I'm fucking with y'all. God damn. What this is it? Dang it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, nigga. You done got caught, boy. You going down today, boy. You going down today, boy. He, he caught. You caught, boy. Oh, no. Hell no. Shut up, nigga. I done put mine, Hey, but look here, man. Hey. These are y'all leaders? These are y'all leaders. A nigga that invite a man to his penis that look like goddamn Chico the Barge. A bitch ass nigga that no goddamn well if he ever see me anywhere by himself. By himself. Not the group. By yourself. That if you ever see a nigga like me, you would never talk to me like that. You finger wave. You trick these people on the internet. And then an over-fake, over-masculine man like Steven Jackson just because you ran your bitch ass up in the stands and fought white people that you some type of hell of a nigga. Bitch, I ain't white. And I ain't 5'6", nigga. You got me fucked up, boy. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You say you street. 
and you got sleep tied, nigga, it wouldn't have been no problem for you to find me, nigga. We was teammates. And the number I gave you when we was teammates, bitch ass nigga, I still got it. So y'all can trick these motherfuckers on the internet all you want to, boy. But I asked you fuck niggas what we was doing. See, y'all want to act like it's all, it's all, it's all that. But you want to tell on the breakfast club and put it out there, try to sprinkle your little hate ass seasoning that I'm some sort of killer. On the very same day, your little punk ass invited me to your penis and act like you want to meet up. Hmm. I wonder why you did that. I wonder why you did that. I would have loved to beat your little bitch ass. I told you what I was going to do to you. Any nigga with a finger wave, I would have got, I would have remembered my childhood and I would have turned it to a hater. I would have just fucked that finger wave up. I would have had your ass up under that car, boy. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Bitch ass Stephen Jackson punching up. I ain't never seen you in a fight with a man and you sitting here talking about I know how you coming. Why? Because you hang with a lot of niggas? Why would I know how you coming, bitch boy? I know how you coming. Why? <laughs> Fuck out of here because you got a bunch of niggas that can call my motherfucking phone. Did you catch what I was saying to you, bitch? I said you can't stand in front of me, nigga. What that got to do with everybody else? And you can't, nigga, and you know it. Fuck ass, nigga. You nigga been hanging in groups for so long, nigga, that you don't know how to address a man. I ain't in no group. If ever you feel froggy and you call my phone and ask nicely, nigga, don't you run up on me and think you're going to make me do something. I'm a grown-ass man. You better ask nicely. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get everything you're looking for. Because I'm my mama's son, bitch. Fuck you think, nigga. Y'all camera, TV-ass, gangster-ass niggas. You all tall, that talking you doing, nigga. It ain't hard to set up a fight. You bitch-ass pretty boy. I disrespected you on every level that it can go to. You didn't need to invite me to your penis, bitch. If you wanted to fight and you knew you was coming to Atlanta next month, bitch, everybody know where I be at. The fuck is you talking about? If you connected to anybody in Atlanta, they'll tell your stupid ass I be smoking hookah at blue. Damn near every other day, bitch-ass nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. You want to act like you a hell of a nigga. I wouldn't let you to my house because you a bitch. I told Jack I'd have gave him my address. You, you bitch ass pretty Ricky looking motherfucker, I'd have gave you. Nah, I like pretty Ricky. So I ain't going to say that. You Chico the Barge looking motherfucker, Stuart Little looking bitch, I'd have gave you my P.O. box and beat your ass in front of the post office. Nigga gonna tell, this nigga is the corniest light-skinned nigga I know. So, uh, get my dick out your, I mean, my name out your mouth, and uh, I know you hurt. Bitch, how you know that? Nigga, you hurt. A nigga tore your woman up, bitch. I know you hurt. I know you sad. I know you desperate. How the fuck you know everything about me? When, when the fuck you went to school for psychology, bitch? Because if you went to school and you were so calm and put together, then bitch, you would have turned the key to your gate instead of jumping it, bitch. You almost rolled your motherfucking ankle. You about to throw your life away. Roll your ankle, miss game. You a stupid motherfucker, ain't you? Are y'all still together with all that energy you put into that? You, you wasn't paying up no attention any other time. Now you want to give us some attention. Somebody else giving us attention now. <laughs> Fuck ass nigga. You want to try to stand on niggas' shoulders and embarrass them on the internet? Yeah. Nigga, I'm the king of embarrassing motherfucker. You, I told you, boy. You can't send a kid to school with XJ900s and you niggas had pretty shoes and Jordans and shit and I joke with the best of them with cat heads on, nigga. You got me fucked up. Bitch ass, uh, pretty boy, bitch ass nigga like you. You nigga need a shit, boy. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Nigga always talking about now first the bitch ass nigga. This a condescending little trick too. You're tired, you're hurt, you beat down. I know you're mad about your career, uh, but we love you. Come on the podcast. Bitch, you just told me you ain't want me on the podcast. I never heard somebody send an invitation to the podcast like that. Yeah, we ain't gonna give you no clout. What is clout, bitch? Clout wasn't even a word when I was growing up, you stupid ass motherfucker. See, that's what's wrong with bitch ass nigga like you. Any new word they make up, your pussy ass start talking about it. 
Bitch, I'm an old school nigga. We ain't, you ain't gonna give me no new words, bitch. Fuck you and fuck clout. Nigga, you shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> That's all it is, nigga. You shouldn't have been talking shit. Bitch ass nigga. I asked your fuck ass to apologize. You and that bitch ass Jack wanna double down on it. Yeah, nigga, anybody goddamn give a fuck? Fake super mass macho man ass nigga. Anybody give a fuck about it, nigga? They can just do it. You won't be the first. You don't talk to no man like that, whole ass nigga. The fuck wrong with you, nigga? When did you ever talk to me like that, Jack? Be honest now. When did the fuck did you ever talk to me like that, nigga? I done been in your face plenty of times. You ever talk to me like that, nigga? Is that what you want to tell people? You ever talk to me like that, boy? <laughs> Just because I be quiet around you, Jack, why the hell can, would anybody talk around you? Bitch, you so loud, can't nobody else get a word out anyway. All you do is run your motherfucking mouth with a group full of niggas, motherfucker. How in the hell can somebody get a word out around your big, loud, talking ass? All you had to do is apologize to another man, sir. You just got that feminine energy, nigga, and you don't know how to apologize when you wrong, you bitch, nigga. You think you always right, you effeminate motherfucker. And then when a man approach your bitch ass, you got to act like you tough. And then now you telling a man that never been in contact with you with no fight. Now I know how you coming. The problem is, bitch nigga, you don't know how I'm coming. So you can run your mouth, but you can come on. <laughs> you can come on. Yeah, you sure can. <laughs> But what you don't know will hurt you. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Niggas always want to talk tough all the goddamn time. Becky with the good hair ass nigga that I watch on tape, your bitch already, your woman already leaving you, nigga. She was already smooching with this nigga. <laughs> she already went through your phone when you were so high and got the nigga number. Bitch ass nigga, you a bad leader, nigga. You brought that smooth ass nigga Derek Fisher around while you trying to be tough. You already looking. I told you, nigga, that hair. You had that hair slicked down, nigga. You had your hair trying to be prettier than your woman. You bitch ass nigga. You see, Derek came like a man, S bald, smooth, professional, suit. You in here trying to be a street nigga. You coming in them tight ass goddamn jeans looking like a little bitch. <laughs> you half a man prep school looking motherfucker. You talking shit to me. Boy, you sad as fuck, boy. They should have told you about me. Gilbert tried to warn your little dumb ass. But see, you listen to that bitch ass nigga Jack. A nigga that hang in groups. By yourself, nigga, you ain't shit. Neither one of you motherfuckers, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Niggas want to always play tough, bitch ass niggas. It ain't the niggas that play tough that's tough, whole nigga. <laughs> you was going to unleash the dragon. <laughs> unleash the dragon. <laughs> you was just about to do that, man. Punk bitch. Any real nigga don't respect you, Matt. You probably paying for protection. Jack, that was a cute little thing talking about I ride with the police. That was real cute. But everybody done seen me around Atlanta, and they ain't seen me with no police. But uh, there's nothing wrong with riding with the police, sir. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I wouldn't need no police if you called my phone. If you talking like that, I, I wouldn't need no police if you gonna come like a man. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't bring no police then. Tough guy. Only thing, bitch, you like CB4, nigga. I'm starting to realize that you like CB4, you fuck, nigga, because you jumped your bitch ass in the stands and fought in a group. I bet you ain't never been in no one-on-one -on -one fight. I can tell by the way you run your motherfucking mouth. You ain't never been in a one-on-one -on -one fight, you bitch ass, nigga. You just been tall and stupid and in a group the whole time, ain't it? You fought in a group, and that's what everybody else know your bitch ass for. And so now you're running around here disrespecting men. But if you bitch ass nigga, you call my goddamn phone and come out of that group. I'm going to put that up. Call my phone and come out that group. Because I'm tired of you niggas running your mouth like that. Call my phone and come out that group then. Bitch ass nigga. Hell wrong with y'all niggas always talking to grown men like that.
And Jack, I'll give you my address because I know we was teammates. We cool. You said you love me, right? So you love me. So I love you too. I knock your bitch ass out of my front yard and drag your ass by the mailbox. Punk bitch. You know how I'm coming. All that feminist shit. Bitch, I don't know how you coming. And you don't know how I'm coming. We ain't never been in a fight, bitch. Y'all niggas just be talking. Y'all can save all that boxing shit. I ain't no boxer. You not going to limit me. <laughs> I might poke you in the eye. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to let y'all have a nice day. Y'all keep believing in these CB4 ass niggas. Because they hide in groups. Don't hide in no group. Don't come up making no noise. Call my phone. I can name a laundry list of niggas that called my goddamn phone. And I know these niggas know you. And if you want any of that shit you talking about, boy, I will be your huckleberry. I promise you I will. And it ain't got to be on TV, no cameras, no none of that. They'll just see your ass on the show with no teeth, bitch. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Let me get off this shit before I get mad and I look like a killer. <laughs>